Well, first, let me say how pleased I was to uh, visit. The United States uh, disagrees with uh, the approach on Syria. Uh, we are concerned by new laws that uh, uh, could restrict civil society and by recent measures targeting people who have spoken out about Russia's democratic future. Domestic entrepreneurs and foreign investors alike understand that in the 21st century, political modernization can and does drive economic growth and it can create stronger societies and strengthen partnerships in pursuit of shared goals. Um, specifically uh, with respect to our two good friends and allies, uh, Japan and the Republic of Korea, uh, I raised uh, these issues with uh, both of them, um, urging that their, uh, their interests really lie in making sure that they uh, lower the temperature and uh, work together uh, in a concerted way. Uh, to have a calm and, and restrained uh, approach. And, you know, I think that's um, being heard. Uh, there does seem to be a recognition on the part of uh, all of the leaders that, you know, this region of the world is the economic engine uh, in what is still uh, a fragile global economy. And we can't let anything happen. It's not in the interests of any of the Asian countries. It's certainly not in the interests of the United States or the rest of the world uh, to uh, raise doubts and uncertainties about uh, the uh, stability uh, and peace in the region. They are particularly uh, concerned about addressing the case of uh, Mr. Magnitsky's wrongful death. Uh, so we continue to consult with Congress on this as they consider two different uh, drafts of legislation. Uh, I would note that the United States government, uh, the Obama administration, has already taken important action uh, to ensure that no one that we are uh, uh, told credibly uh, was in any way implicated in Mr. Magnitsky's death can travel to the United States already.